I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatever you lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. The Gospel of Matthew chapter 16 verses 13 through 20. My dear sisters and brothers in Christ Jesus, welcome to the Gospel Reflection during these ending times. The power of today's Gospel for those first Christians cannot be underestimated. It is Jesus himself who asks the question, and it is Peter, chosen by Jesus to succeed him, who answers it. There is no higher authority than this. Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God. Peter proclaims it and Jesus affirms it, immediately giving Peter full authority of his church. Whatever you bind, whatever you lose, means everything. Jesus today in this gospel looks at each one of us in our eyes and asks us, Who do you say that I am? That's a very personal question. Back then, people tried to fit him into a list of prophets of their past. Today in our world, we are looking at a renewed list, including artificial intelligence. It is not easy to ignore our Lord and move forward. Our convenient list is not a match for the Lord. Saint Peter had the unique privilege of recognizing Jesus as the Son of the Living God, and that was a revelation he received from the Holy Spirit, and thus he was made the rock of the church. Jesus does not call the qualified, but he qualifies the called. Are you and I qualified? Peter was not called because he was as strong as a rock, but he was called to become the rock. Jesus made him the strong rock that carried the church. You and I are called to be another rock, to be a rock for our family. You're called to be a rock for your parish, for your colleagues and friends, to be firm and strong to carry the responsibility and be accountable before God the Father. Today we are in a situation, not by sheer coincidence, but we are called and selected by God to do what He intends us to do. Be it a bad or good situation, based on how we perceive it. But it's for our good, for our soul's redemption for eternal joy that we are going through what we are in today because the Lord sees what is in future, what future holds good for us, what he is not concerned about is the material gains that we are eager, what we crave for every day. We are called to be the strong father, strong mother, strong brother, strong sister, a supportive employer, a caring colleague. Be strong enough to carry our own responsibilities no matter what you are. You may be asked to walk on water one day, Walk with a firm grip on Jesus. When we are asked to carry the cross, carry it with Jesus. Because we cannot cross the gates of heaven without carrying our own crosses. If Peter could eventually transform into the rock Jesus wanted him to be, you and I too could be what Jesus wants of us. And that is his ask, not our choice. With a firm grip on Jesus, we can be what Jesus wants us to be, because he loves us. Jesus is love. His love is unfathomable. His 
mercy is overflowing. Our sins could be as red as scarlet, but He welcomes us every day to transform us into a snow white like being. He is always there with His open arms. Let's be in touch with Jesus through the Word of God and pray and be ourselves before him and before people around us, our brothers and sisters. Amen and God bless you.